Thanks, Fred. It's Thursday, so let's eat. Do you remember when you used to go through the cafeteria line and you'd get to choose whatever you wanted? Well, this southern diner is like that, only elevated with a cuisine that's just like what your mom used to make. 7 News' is Christine Scarpelli joins us live this morning. She's a diner, hey, diner in morning. Pendleton. Good morning, Christine. What, what are we getting into today? Observe the steam coming off the grits. Are we are we able to view that, Olivia? I just wanted to make sure you saw how fresh breakfast is here at Dyer's Diner. Don't stampede the place until 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Gosh, give them some time to warm up a little bit. But this is fantastic, Dyer's Diner. We're in Pendleton. We got much more to show you here on the story, and then we'll come out and talk to April in just a second. Take a look. Diners done differently than I'm used to up north, at least. It's southern cooking done cafeteria style. And you know, you don't see that very much anymore. There must be a reason why this one is still going strong. We're at Dyer's Diner in Pendleton, South Carolina. We are the true traditional southern comfort food. And you've got to stick with a recipe that was originally written because that's the way people like it. And here's the proof. Owner April Simpson flips through her daily playbook of recipes. 90% of them came from Miss Dyer. Opened by locals, the Dyer family in 1989, Simpson and her husband took over just two years ago with the intent of offering the best breakfast and lunch in town. Meatloaf, chicken casserole, country steak and gravy are kind of our highlights that we do. Meatloaf was the special of the day. Now it's not my favorite, mostly for the spongy consistency, but that's not what Chef David Singleton had in store. Pour it in there, half an onion, cup of green pepper, take some biscuits, breadcrumbs. This rich topping is what makes it, the ground beef goodness, different. I have a ketchup topper mix that is mixed with brown sugar and mustard, gives it a little sweet sweet flavor. Cooked to perfection, and that's also the secret to Dyer's famous mac and cheese. It's a fair amount of noodles. Cooked by Johnson & Wales trained Jim Beach. It's probably use close to almost five pounds of cheese each pan of mac and cheese. This must be a record. Butter always makes everything better. Don't miss this butter technique. Mix eggs and milk into the mac and cheese. Out of the oven, bubbling hot, best added to their legendary fried chicken. Bone in chicken broth. Special house made breading. The flavor and the crunch made this dish stand out. Nice and moist and juicy and it's yummy. Can't wait until lunch, no problem. Breakfast is made to order. Their special lets you choose how you want your eggs. Add meat, grits, hash browns, toast, or biscuit. You know, whatever generational gap you're in, it brings you back to somewhere you were in a good time in your life. Check this out. Way better than any cafeteria food you ever had at your high school. You may even run into today at Ford when you're here from Clemson, so from Dyer's Diner in Pendleton. We all say, let's, let's eat. eat. Yeah, we got the whole crew together to say that last part. Let's see oh, everybody yes. there gathered around the fried chicken and meatloaf. Exactly. But that's what you do best here, April Simpson. We're at Dyer's Diner. You guys took over about two years ago? About two years ago we bought it, my husband and I, yes ma'am. And um, we were wanting to bring it back to the way that Mr. and Miss Dyer had originally founded it. Um, so it Betty and Earl? It's um, Becky and Becky Earl. Becky and Earl. Becky and Earl Dyer Aww. are the two that um, started it. And 89, so I, I think it was. was around, it yeah. was around that time time that yeah. when they started so it's been here for a while so Very good so yes. if you've ever been here in the past you can expect much of the same you can you kept a lot of the recipes we the same, did like. yes so um, for lunch it's the cafeteria style um, traditional southern meat and three it's cooked fresh <laughs> daily chicken uh, the size of my head <laughs> a monster portion yes. and breakfast guys don't miss there's a breakfast plate we were telling you about this is an awesome special a great price they are open Tuesday through Friday and then again on Sunday details always WSP Com. April, we'll be back here in a few minutes. She may have uh, more surprises for us. I don't know, but they all look good, don't they?